Ashfall Peaks. Butcher Rose's den of thieves was a ways up the mountain path. Good a place as any to start. On that bounty. I've got bullets with your name on them. Well, hey, that came out wrong. Tired of wasting cash on respawns? No further. Word had gotten round about the sheriff's demise. The hideout was awash in the sounds of celebration. Bottles clanking, half-remembered songs, and fire in the sky. extra I want you to do. Of course, there's a bonus in it for you. See, Rose has a whole mess of lieutenants across the cannon. Real dangerous folk. I want you to center ranks and take them all forward. Sound good? I thought it might. You're gonna need a sharp eye and a quicker wit to hunt down Lanny Dixon. She's Rose's top assassin, and word is, she knows how to disappear. Still got it.
The maggot. for a shooter of your caliber. The critters here have been preying on folks more than the preacher in a prison house. You spot a body, I'll tell you where to find what killed them. You kill the critter and I'll fetch its hide and pay you for the trouble. You're richer, town's safe when I get more merchandise. Everybody wins. Another dead body. And I'll bet you anything this one's the work of the Abidoxus. He's a monster. The result of the company's advanced weapons testing near devil habitats. a lot of high in the world. Let's go get him. Company scientists had some fancy name for the crystals they dug out of Gehenna's veins. Regular folks just took to calling it core. It fueled the company's weapons of war, and it did strange things to the devils and beasts. Whatever nightmares a company could dream up, core made them real.
Back in town, Juno was looking for Titus. Of course she wouldn't find him. That pleasure was reserved for the Vault Hunter. McSmugger. Something about that name called to the Vault Hunter. A call to adventure. McSmugger! Now that's a name I haven't heard in many years. There he was, Mick Smugger, in the flesh. Evening, kid. Cowboy's just another word for a man on a horse. They call me Mick Smugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. Prove it! I want to hear some cowboy wisdom, right now! If it's wisdom you seek, the first thing you need to know is that you don't know nothing. It's time to unlearn what you don't know, kid. Damn you, McSmugger! You're so wise! I wasn't always McSmugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. I sought to know all things, so I climbed Mount Mariboshi. By the time I moseyed back down, I'd found what I was looking for. It's your turn, kid. What do you say? I'm good. Ah, uh, refusing the call, are we? I see. How about now? You know what? Why not? Then let your journey commence. And so the Vault Hunter crossed the threshold, hell-bent on climbing Mount Maraboshi. The Vault Hunter thought about a whale for some reason. Whales! Hate them! Bastards of the ocean! Can't trust anything with a blowhole! A road of trial stood in the Vault Hunter's way. No sweat. The Vault Hunter knew the mountain wouldn't give up its cowboy wisdom without an offering. So the Vault Hunter did what they always did. Started taking it out on the local wildlife. If you ate the heart of a badass, would you become more badass, the Vault Hunter wondered? With each badass heart, the badass Vault Hunter picked up, the more badass they became.
fog rolled in. Moody is ruined. A statue of breathtaking beauty stood beside the path, a countenance so majestic it could only be divine, and her voice was like strings plucked on a harp. You have traveled far, but this is not the end. I have a gift to aid you on your journey. Ah, look at you. Nice to see someone as chiseled as myself. Boom! Ha! And what's this about a gift? For you, on this, a journey worthy of a hero. Use it wisely. Or unwisely. Your call, really. Go now. Your destiny awaits. Getting close to the top now. I can almost smell that cowboy wisdom from here. I was made for this! Weather started to turn for the worse. The peak of Mount Maraboshi. It was here that the Vault Hunter would find true cowboy wisdom. The Vault Hunter laid out the hearts of the slain badasses in offering. Keeper of true cowboy wisdom emerged from his throne cave. Oh crap! A bird? I hate birds! Big ones, little ones, doesn't matter! But especially big ones! The father of eagles was pleased with the offering of hearts, but demanded the vault hunter offer up their own hearts and the dark secrets within. There, at the top of all things, the vault hunter atoned for their sins. Ah, uh, okay. One time I was dating someone and there was a show we watched together, but I saw the finale without her. There, I said it. The father of eagles gazed into the Vault Hunter's heart cave and saw true darkness. He attacked. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it! Jealous the rest of you get to see this all the time! was dead. Its glorious boom fell to the ground. Hey there, good looking! Well, look at the state here! The quest complete. It was time to return to McSmugger, wisest cowboy to ever walk the land. They briefly considered refusing to return, but then did it anyway.
Oh. Sliding towards wisdom. It was magical. But how to heal one's raw, slope-burned backside? Vault Hunter hoped McSmugger held the answer to that and other questions. Turns from beyond the threshold. Mosey on over, kid. So, what'd you find? Or should I ask, what found you? I found the kind of inner peace that only comes from killing a big ass bird. So, you have found true cowboy wisdom. Then your journey is complete, and now you are McSmugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. Time for me to mosey on. So he was real after all. A real arsehole? <laughs> oh. Nah, 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 nah. He seemed all right. Also, I've learned nothing. Vault Hunter heard a cry for help. Help! Anyone out Devil Riders don't take prisoners unless they got designs on them. Who knows what the poor bastard was in for?
nice fighting, Tomodachi. Now come on over here.
Man, is it good to see you. Did Sheriff send you to rescue me? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the Sheriff's dead. Dead? It can't be. No wonder those Devil Rider snakes are so damn happy. But wait, if Sheriff's dead, who sent you? Who'd he leave in charge? Juno. What? What in ruination was he thinking? Juno? That just don't make sense. She used to be a damn devil rider. You know that, right? Sheriff's the one who took her in. Said she'd atone for her crimes. But I never did trust her. Still don't. <clears throat> Suppose we gotta let that lie for now, though. Come on, get me out of here. I stole this off a devil rider that was roughing me up. It's something the company made, and I thought it might come in handy. You take it. Now, you see that crystal over there? It's infused with core, called a core exploder. Give it your knuckles. Uh, quick now, get me out of here before those devil riders come back and try to beat us hollow. See why Sheriff outlawed company goods in town? But these are different times, I suppose. Now listen, I overheard some devil riders talking about the stone. Said they were keeping it up top in the bathhouse. I'll show you the way. Follow me. <laughs> Can you believe that? Those devil riders celebrating the sheriff's death with the damn fireworks. Uh, give them a reason to stop celebrating soon enough! Come on then! Let's show these devil riding fester cocks they ain't so damn tough! When uh, something no longer sparks joy, I'll get it out of the house and just go hide it somewhere. Maybe it'll spark joy for someone else. Anyway, you can have that trash if you want it. They'll want to think twice next time.
that one have a bounty? No! Sure! Right there. That's the way in. Though it ain't like the Devil Riders are just gonna open the doors to you. Take a look around. I'll stand watch. Still alive? <laughs> you know, I thought about asking you to join the Devil The Vault Hunter decided to crash a party. this well in hand, so I'll head back to town. Me and Juno are gonna have to have some words. Find that stone. We're counting on you. company days, the bathhouse was a beacon of hospitality. There is nothing clean about it now. The bald hunter figure. It was time to wash some devil riders in blood. Ammo! Without it, you're just a schmuck with a paperweight. Need a diagnosis? Go see a real doctor. Need a healing? Kormash, handle the intruder for me. I put you in charge for a reason. Lock this whole place down. You heard the lady. Hey, come on. And lock the damn door just in case. There was no way in. So the vault hunter set about creating uses to draw them out. Starting with some of their prized ill gotten goods. There'll be six no! sons of all that one. A Donny Brook, then.
That man is dangerous! Get him! Don't be ashamed here! rivals. Now I reign supreme. The bloodbath is mine. And you, Steve? I finally kidnapped the soap maker. Now, whenever I claim a new victim, I have their fat rendered down into soap. I finally found my thing. I make victims into soap. How cool is that? <gasps> Very cool. Very cool indeed. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Even started calling myself Soapy Steve. Hope it catches up. Damn it all to ruin. We stole it. The Baron Square. But then again. They may have been filthy outlaws, but they still enjoyed a nice bath. Fault hunter hit him where it hurts. Deadly! taking the bait, so it was time to find something a little more destructive. Ah, 
I met a wise lass who once said, Fire serves many things. There was bound to be something highly flammable about. A little improvised explosive would do the trick. Whether it was a good idea or a bad idea, well, that was hard to say. They're trying to burn down my damn bathhouse! That's it! Get out there and stop them, bastards! Now that sure got their attention. That was all? Got any more for the meat grinder? Gotta load this damn thing! At the time, it was just another gunfight. Wasn't until a few years later we all started calling that day the Bathhouse Massacre. Scent of lavender and blood hung in the air. The vault hunter moved deeper into the heart of the hideout, figuring that's where the stone would be. All right,
tapestry you call that fella. Amid the spoils of war, Vault Hunter noticed something odd. Vault Hunter justifiably and intelligently came to the conclusion that this was a key to a secret room. Every hideout's got one or two. Uh, you've got great money, I'll give you that. I should have killed you when I had the chance. But right now, I got a train to catch. Oh, and when you get back to town, tell the hatchet she picked the wrong Now, I'd like to tell you that's where the Vault Hunter found the stone, but... That ain't the truth. Hey, somebody out there? If it wouldn't trouble you overly much, I'd appreciate some help getting out of here. Well, well. It's about time someone came along. Was thinking I might die here. <laughs> Guess not. You did come here to save this old troubadour, didn't you? Yeah! I was, uh, worried about you. <laughs> Where's the stone? The stone, huh? You know, it's the damnedest thing. Butcher Rose was making me play this melody to the stone over and over. Don't really know why. It sounded like Rose ran off with the stone because you were nipping at her heels. Don't know where she took it, but I do know this. The stone, it ain't a stone. Then what is it, Boyo? It's an egg. If you can believe it, I swear to ruin. It's true. Some kind of monster from the company days. Rose called it the Ruiner. Go on, see for yourself. Before the Vault Hunter came to town, Ruiner was just a word. But since then, folks make signs on their hearts when they hear it. Juno would want to see this. Thanks for springing me. I'll see you back in Vestige. Hopefully. Hard to believe. We've been sleeping next to this monstrous thing for all these years. <laughs> this is gonna make for one hell of a song. Time to head back to town and tell Juno the news. <laughs>